Welcome back to five minutes daily with Nate. I woke up this morning realizing that yesterday during my five minutes here on YouTube, I actually forgot <laughs> the Bible verse that I wanted to share, and that is uh, 2 Peter 1 4. And it talks about the promises that God has given us that allow us to take part in the divine nature of God and escaping the corruptible world and lusts of the world. So I'm going to read two through four. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. And as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, this is the verse, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And yesterday as I was talking about it, like where our eyes are fixated on and just worship, praise, prayer, all of these focal points of my life and and following Christ, what he points out, points out to follow. I was trying to remember this because I realized that there are certain promises that we, if we really cling to, if we just keep them as what I like to see as like as a lens that we see through a lens that allows us to see through the trials and tribulations of life that if we put on these precious promises as a lens that we look through that we simply escape the corruptions of this world you know simply as yesterday as I was talking about it like my eyes were fixated you know not on Christ therefore I was led astray and I was looking at things uh, that I didn't have that I was missing that I had lack and there was a lens on my eyes that I was not able to partake in the divine nature of God and the overflow of God is joy peace and these overflowing factors of his spirit that I was looking through another lens and I wanted to replace that lens by this and it says that by which we have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises and I just want to finish on that that if we look simply one promise you know in in Psalm 23 it says for we have a shepherd for you are my shepherd therefore I lack nothing because we have a shepherd we lack nothing knowing and and standing upon that he's going to lead us and guide us as a shepherd leads his sheep into a pasture where they can reside and they have everything that they need that is simply one uh, another one that God works all things together for the good of those who love him you know everything that comes our way God will work it together for our good and there's little promises like that and I want to encourage you find the promises of God in your life that he has spoken to you that he has given to you time and time again and know that through these we can partake in his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust and I want to encourage you look at these promises as a lens so that you begin to partake in his divine nature of who he is how good he is how he is a good father and how he just wants to love you he wants to take care of you he wants to really look after you as a father would look after his children so I hope that this blesses you and I pray that you would see through the precious promises that God has given you. 
God bless you today.